Everything's up on the table. Everything, every role, every part is on up on the table for me right now because a lot of people fail to realize that the theater has a lot to do with the discipline. And it is it is a discipline. It's a disciplinary art. And um, you know, we, we after we already struggled with persons coming to Rio, so I've had a particular issue with this one person. Right now, I'm actually thinking about it's about completing the play, and I think the people who started with us might not be the ones ending it. No, that's not what I'm saying. She needs to be solitary. You see, Doctor Patterson, you're always doing that to me. Basically, on the end, you need to engage first, right? So you want to give us, go back, give us, and then go back. Go. You see, Doctor Patterson. My name is Shine Savory, and uh, I'm kind of a hands-on everywhere person in this play. I'm the d assistant director to Ms. Dubois. I have some hands in writing, and um, I'm hoping to do a little bit of stage management. So I'm kind of running around everywhere, helping out. I'm not getting a clear motive from the okay. So it's... That and also the body language, like the body language towards the end was good. But while you're talking to her, I need more. It all comes from the phrase, I'll get there on Lucian time, or it's starting at six o'clock Lucian time. That's something within our culture that we need to break off, that just. We need to make people understand that when it comes to theater, especially, that that doesn't apply and that you can't decide I'm going to do it this one week and then not show up for a month and then come back and expect that everything is going to be there ready for you. It doesn't work like that. You know, you can't be there half the time or show up late and just expect everything to keep going. You know, you have to have a certain kind of level of expectations for yourself and take yourself seriously before you can expect people to make accommodations for you. Yeah, and in the meantime, I wither when I can wash you under your bed. Loving half a man, someone I gave seven years of my life. Don't forget Jack. You know, you have good days and bad days. Today's not a good day. So you're laughing because I'm dismissing it constantly. Because it's funny. It's funny, right? It's funny, I'm not vexed at you, huh? I'm telling you. You can say three more weeks. Um, we've had a very tumultuous past few weeks because, you know, we've been struggling with people and their commitment coming to rehearsals. And um, we had, as of recent, two people who have officially resigned from being a part of the play. So I'm kind of in a bind. Anytime the top at late is a noise, you're making noise, 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 noise. Thank you. Thanks. My audition, to be honest, was horrible. It did not represent my true potential. I was not prepared. You know, I was practically clueless as to what exactly was going on. You know, I was, I was not exactly focused i wasn't centered so when i did get to the audition thinking that you know it would just just been you know a read through like i said it turned out to be like an actual you know i guess you know full-on audition where i had to go on stage and do everything and i was not prepared i had never gone through the monologues i had no idea that you know we were auditioning for roles i know it's horrible and sad, but I had no idea we were auditioning to roles. I it just it was just communication was lost. 
and somehow I was just all over the place. I tried to wing it, <laughs> but unfortunately, that type of play, I guess, it just didn't work out in my favor. Wow, look, Sadia just messaged me. Hey, Daniel, sorry, I'll have to drop out of the production, leaving the island next week. You see the same thing? Well, I didn't intentionally um, leave the play. When I found out that, you know, it would have been delayed, you know, I had to make the tough decision to, you know, drop out. It's my life and I want more. More time, more power. Pay my Lucy Lex bill isn't hard. I pay with credit or debit card. Pay direct to Lucy Lex my account. I have the power, yeah. Pay online to Lucy Lex my account. Anywhere, any day, any hour. Lights are on at home. No more standing in line. No more worrying about my bill. Now I'm all paid up. Got more time to chill, yeah, yeah. Pay my Lucy Lex bill isn't hard. I pay with credit or debit card. Hi, my name is Sidil, and you may know some of my hits like this one. Don't play with man. Man pull up like ten bad man. Our music inspires and entertains. It powers festivals and is an integral part of our history and culture. Creating good music takes hours of thought, writing, arranging, recording, and production. When people or businesses who use our music publicly or for commercial gain get a music license, they're not just keeping the law. They're also supporting music creators, producers, musicians, singers, sound engineers, and many others in the music industry. Keep the great music coming. Get a music license for your business place or event. Support music rights. For more information, visit echorights.com. This message is brought to you by Echo and this Echo license station. Echo, Echo, Echo. protecting music rights. Helps, but that brings more, more togetherness, a feeling of, yes, we're doing something, a feeling of belonging. So it was a very good thing. There's an open area, because they, they don't need to have any props as such. So usually, people in fear they have a lot of life, and you give them that latitude to, to do, you know, to express themselves. Um, and, I, and the more they're together, it helps on stage. Because actors feed on actors. If, you're, if, if, if actor is in character and you have the energy, the other one will step up. So all that helps if, in terms of trust too. If, if, if you have to hold somebody on stage, you might, not, might feel uneasy, but all that thing helps because you feel, I could hold you, I could squeeze you. So all that thing, so I, I like the, 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 the vibes. <laughs> I know you, and I know you. And if I know the two of y'all, it didn't have anything to do with the way things are in the country. But somebody's personal life you're talking about. Ruby, really come on now. It's, it's like soaps, you know? Everybody in life is soaps. You, Alice, you, you know? Everybody in like life is soaps now. There were two things that we had, we had a while we haven't done. And today we do it and we just go through it, which I was surprised. Although there was one or two lines I was missing, but they didn't stop, they didn't buckle, they didn't, you know, they, they went right through. It was good. Um, yeah, I, I feel more and more becoming there, as I said. Something else you know. Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't have anything! My character. Um, it's a bit a bit of an unfortunate character. We have a lot of those in the public right now. He tries to make a living by robbing persons, but he went one step too much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Drop it, drop it. She's getting it. This 
Yo, yo, yo. That one is a little off of opposite to my character. Persons would be quite surprised. I jump on the opportunity. It is different to what I would be comfortable with, but I, I hope that um, the um, director and writer would be satisfied with what I do. Huh? That's what you're trying to do? That's what you're trying to do? Who are you going to kill? Huh? Boss, 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 boss. Boss, 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 boss,
we envision a strong, united and proud St. Lucian community empowered by culture and creativity. For more information on how you can partner with CDF on some of our projects and efforts, go to cdfstlucian.org or contact Cultural Development Foundation Barnard Hill Catheries, PO Box CP5405, call us at 457-9021 or send us a fax at 459-0615, email us at info at cdfstlucian.org. my friend Shatoya from Show um, 758 to come and do dance rehearsals with them because I always like to just expose the cast to, to different things to just get them in the zone and excited about rehearsals. So she came, we did our, our curtain call and we did our choreography for that. And um, as of recent, we've been challenging the cast to just run the play off script, which means, you know, no script, even though you don't know the lines, Let's just improvise, so let's see how the movement of the play takes place. And um, um, for some reason, the energy was just all. Oh. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. To me, I see that already. But she saw it on Saturday, not today. I just saw you do something like a fair thing. Try again. <laughs> um, a million ways to say something. Oh, yeah. The lips? No! <laughs> the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, these are the tools of articulation. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, these are tools of articulation. You know, they, they say sometimes your best performance is usually one of your best rehearsals. And I've seen the play performed and done so much better than what to play. So I was just kind of disappointed and I tried my best to not make them stop. So I just want to see if they would pick up the energy or just check a vibe like it wasn't good and it was just like that until the end. So as customary after um, every rehearsal, um, we give feedback and we have that one-on-one -on -one discourse about everything. And um, I think it was Deshaun, um, he has, well, he's the one picking up from Robert. So he knew that almost about a week and change and it was obvious that he didn't read, go through the script. So, I'll be honest, I've not been going through the script the way I wanted to. I had a funeral of uh, my great-grandmother, and after I was like, boy, you know what, let me try and rush through, the, rush through the line. So when I got to rehearsals on Monday, <laughs> I was like, well, Daniel, I, I cannot use my script tonight, because, you know, I try and play things, I, I know my, my words, so I want to, like, you know, go through the script or whatever. She's like, no, we're improvising. So the past rehearsals, um, it has been in, um, improvising as well. So I was like, okay, cool. The last rehearsal, she told me, boy, you did excellent, boy, you did good. So I mean, I have the high five going and improvise. I know I could do it, <laughs> right? So I, when I went on stage, my first line, I spill it out. It looked good, Junior laughed for the first time. So I was like, okay, Junior laughing. When I got to the core of it all, as soon as I started speaking, Junior was like, that's not the lines. That's not what I want to hear. That's not this. And at that point, I was just like, what the I know sometimes, you know, you can't make a demand on an actor, you know, to learn their lines, especially within a short space of time. But one week, in my opinion, was enough time to at least get the essence of the script. So when you're improvising, you're not so off radar that you're throwing everybody off. Can I use my script? No. Improvise, I'm trying to improvise. You're telling me that's not what's on the script. I went back, I sat, and everybody was supposed to have given um, their feedback as to how the, the play went. So um, when it got to me, <laughs> Daniel was like, what do you think should have been better? So I said, <laughs> well, I think I have to learn my lines. <laughs> well, I guess I just have to learn the lines. So like, I just, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, what do you mean you tell me you just have to learn the lines? Of course, yes, you have to learn the lines. Daniel responded, and she was like, what the f you telling me about? You f don't learn the lines. No, what the f at that point, I was like... I just, I guess I, I lost it at that point in time. No, I don't regret my behavior. I don't, because 
I realized for some reason you have to be a mean person, you have to be almost like a dictator to get people to do what they have to do. You'll not be able to recognize me. Don't test me, Paulina. From audition day, Paulina showed up and she had a stethoscope and she had her nurse outfit already. Like, Paulina is that kind of person, like, when she does something, she goes deep in it and she goes out and she gives all her effort. I mean, I have acted before in the States and on Broadway, so I have it in me to do it. What would you do if a student was doing that in your class? You're a teacher, right? What would you do if a student was doing that in your class, Paulina? And moving forward, I will be a little bit harder to get the results that I need to get. nice Daniel all the time you know and it's just unfortunate that it had to get to that for people to start like okay all right it seems like Daniel's serious <laughs> I'm trying my best to actually get it and I'm just not getting it and I'm just feeling that Today was a very successful rehearsal. I came to my rehearsal space. Everybody was in their spaces. Who had to be learning their lines was learning their lines. And I'm grateful for that. So, was the lesson. Everybody just have to shape up or ship out. I'm not a bitch. <laughs> Coming up in the next episode of Curtain Call. I will say what I have to say. I will say what I need to say. I will say what I want to say. Maka more ep on yen on le chemin.